Hey guys, Jeremy Hood here. Got my 08 Toyota Yaris. We were on a camping trip and driving it down the freeway, the Yaris that is, not the motorhome. Uh, several lights came on, the battery light, check engine light, I forget what else. And pulled over and it, and it was overheating. So uh, what it ended up being was the serpentine belt, which normally goes right there. See right there? And other pulleys, all the pulleys are all up and down vertically like this. It was just gone, and I wasn't sure what was going on. I checked the radiator, topped it off, drove it a little more, overheated some more. Uh, the coolant came spilling out right here. The radiator overflows into the tank, and then the tank overflows out here and just kind of sprays all over. So the whole front of the engine was just, and down there, the little pan down there was all just full of coolant. So I thought I had busted the radiator. <clears throat> then I realized the serpentine belt was gone. So the water wasn't circulating through the engine keeping it cool. So I've got the new serpentine belt here uh, from, I happened to go to O'Reilly because that's what was handy. That was what was close by. Uh, so I'm putting it in. The first thing I had to do was loosen this bolt right here. So there's the engine. This looks like the alternator, I guess it probably is. So I loosened this bolt and you see how there's like a like an upside down smiley face. That's because this slides slides forward and back on that and that's how you tension the the serpentine belt. There, you can see it moving a little bit. Okay, you get the idea. But when I first loosened that, uh, it still wouldn't start moving until I went down to, let me try to point to it, see if y'all can see it. That bolt that my finger is touching right now, it's a 15 millimeter socket, that one right there. There's two others below it that are smaller. <clears throat> it's the bigger one that you want, it's 15 millimeter, and you need to loosen that bolt a little, so you need to push it that way. Untwist it a bit and then this should move back and forth for you nicely. Uh, so when I went to loosen that 15 millimeter, I had my socket wrench and that wasn't enough. So I ended up putting this like a breaker, I use it like a breaker bar, but all it is is a hollow uh, water uh, gas pipe. So I slid that, slide that over the handle when I need a little bit more leverage and then that gives me that much leverage. So just be careful you don't like nick your hand or something uh, if it pops off the socket. If, if the socket pops off the uh, bolt or nut or whatever, you don't wanna go poking your hand into something sharp. So just be careful. Uh, but this one inch socket, it's, uh, it's probably actually an inch and, a, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. <clears throat> but that one inch socket, I was able to get it on that 15 millimeter See, now it's on it again. And then it cleared the alternator. I'm gonna call that the alternator. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It cleared that alternator and even with the gas pipe, I just put one hand under like this, put my right hand under and held it against there. And then used my left hand where that handle's sticking up with the breaker bar and just got that sucker loose. Okay, that's where we are right now toward the back of the car. It loosens the belt. And then we're gonna pull it tight, which is toward the front of the car before we lock it in place. The way the belt goes on, I've just figured this out. <laughs> Never had to do this on this car before. Down there, way down there is the big pulley. That's the engine. So I reached, took the belt down through this gap here. Put my hand down here between the air conditioning hose and the engine block. Got my hand down, got that around there, around that big pulley, the engine. And then I brought it straight across the bottom to this. Let me back up a bit. Okay, so went to the engine block between the air conditioner and the engine block, got it around the big pulley, and got around that second pulley there, go straight across to that one, uh, across the bottom. So the bottom straight from the engine around that one 
and then it comes up and in around the three pulleys up uh, on top of each other here then it comes up and inside to that one that my hands on right there this one it goes on the back side of this one and then comes back up over here on the top of this one and then this goes back down to the engine engine pulley so there's one two three four total of four pulleys it needs to go around so around the back of the engine straight across to the front one comes in goes around that smooth one and then comes up to the top which is this one okay hopefully that's is not particularly visible but hopefully that's clear what I was doing to try it out was uh, the engines not going to move because it's huge and it's not started but I was grabbing that bottom pulley and just kind of pulling up on it and turning it and seeing the belt move properly and that also helps the belt get lined up but uh, it's just sliding loosely on that uh, on the engine pulley so now what I'm gonna do is move this all the way forward and then tighten this bolt to hold that in place and then go back and tighten back up that 15 millimeter one right there okay Yet another correction to what I said. I apologize for that. This bolt here is a 14 millimeter, not a 15 millimeter. So sorry about that. I was using the 14 millimeter socket, but thought I had the 15 millimeter. So my mistake. What I was doing to get this thing tight was right in here is a good spot. I have this big heavy duty screwdriver and I just stuck it against the engine block right there and the radiator and I just pulled toward the front of the car uh, somehow that worked so I put a you know this isn't a very long screwdriver not a lot of leverage but I basically pulled it as tightly as I could and had my 12 millimeter uh, socket ready to go set to tighten I pulled as tightly as I could and with my other hand I tightened up that bolt there. So I think I'm good to go. I'm going to fire it up and find out. Alright, I just fired it up. You can tell on the dash there are no significant lights. Seat belt door and the engine's cold, but the battery light's gone, the overheat light's gone, all that stuff. Uh, so now I need to top off the coolant before it gets warmed up. But this looks good on the inside. So I'm going to go check the belt. Alright, and there's the new belt going. It's not squealing. It smells a bit like rubber, but I think that's probably just the belt getting broken in. It's not like going to have this type of okay. Okay, so now I'm going to top off the coolant, and that should be it. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps.